Hello everybody, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews, and today we're going to be going over the Robinhood app. See, Robinhood app. This is the uh, app that everybody's been jumping onto um, <clears throat> and uh, basically using for investing. A lot of young investors, a lot of people that haven't invested before. Um, it's an easy way to uh, get started. Uh, I was using Cash App for a while but I transferred everything over to Robinhood uh, because Robinhood allows for margin and they also have um, <clears throat> a special program if for five bucks a month it allows you um, once you get to two thousand dollars it allows you to borrow on margin and basically what margin is um, say if you have two thousand on in your account it basically doubles that it allows you to borrow almost up to two thousand dollars and right now, if you don't have a lot of money and you still want to invest, it's a good way to kind of like uh, double double your uh, it's kind of like borrowing two thousand and uh, investing it. So the the more you put in, the more margin they allow you to have. So it, like I said, it almost doubles your investment. Um, personally. Um, I didn't have a lot to invest, so this was great for me because I know that Tesla stock is going to go crazy. So um, if you were to go to the bank or take a credit card and try to take a cash advance, um, they're going to charge you like 2 or 3% up front, and then you're going to end up paying anywhere from 8 to 20% interest on the backside um, unless you can have a cash advance. Um, most of them don't do it. Um, with zero percent interest, you know you you have to pay at least some percentage down. So <clears throat> the best thing to do for me, um, I I use uh, Robinhood and they charge five dollars a month uh, to be on the premium. It's like the uh, premium account for five bucks a month, and then they charge you five percent of whatever you borrow on your margin account. But as far as I'm concerned. Uh, that's if you have a really good investment like Tesla, it's well worth it because um, so far I've paid like maybe twenty or thirty dollars in interest. But another thing is every time your investment goes up, they allow you to borrow um, accordingly. So say you start off like with Tesla, um, say I I started off with like maybe two thousand dollars on my account. Well since I invested it almost doubled so say now my accounts um, I started off with 2000 they let me borrow 2000 so now I have basically four thousand dollars worth of stock so <clears throat> then the stock goes up so say it goes up like 50 percent say I have like um, you know five or six thousand dollars worth um, of equity in the stock or basically it's not equity it's uh, what the total value is worth minus your margin. They'll allow you to borrow another um, half again. So if the stock goes up a thousand, they'll let you buy, borrow another 500 bucks. And then it just continues on. So you can continue to borrow as long as the stock goes up half of what it, <clears throat> what it's worth. So you can continue to increase your shares. So, um, the other day they allowed me to um, up the margin again because the stock went up so I took basically whatever they allowed me to and I bought more stock so now I've like probably have almost I don't know um, almost double uh, or triple of what I started with as far as stocks are concerned and then what you do is it'll tell you what you're investing with and basically say like you have I don't know, just use a number like 40 grand. Um, that's that's how much you're basically, you can pull out if you sell everything off. Um, and then say <clears throat> your total stock worth is going to be more because half of it is margin. So <clears throat> say you're, say you have like say 35 shares and the market value is 70,000. Um, after you pay off your margin, you're still going to have 40000 of net worth. 
and as it goes up you can continue to margin and of course you can lose everything <laughs> I mean it's a stock market but uh, I think if you have a stock like Tesla and it continues to go up and then it's going to split like five to one it's a very good time to leverage um, your investment like I said I'm not giving investment advice or anything like that I'm just telling you what I do and the way I was able to leverage my little bit of money I had so um, this is like for me uh, it's kind of like Amazon 10 years ago like it's starting off and it's growing rapidly and the business isn't reinvesting their money and so in the long term like five or ten years it's going to be such a great return on your investment so I'm trying to optimize and leverage as much as I can to take advantage of that growth um, and like I said I've never sold any Tesla stock um, basically I've just put it in the only time I've ever sold it is to pull it out of like cash app and then throw it into Robinhood or throw it into uh, another um, investment uh, fund so basically uh, you know, they're, de depending on what fund you have, I like uh, I like Fidelity, but it, I, they won't allow me to um, borrow on margin because you have to be an invest a long term investor, and they also charge a little bit more. They charge like eight percent um, for margin. Um, so I'd rather pay the five dollars a month and pay five percent on margin myself, and um, they they also allow you to put in. Um, basically uh, instant deposit so like say if you have two or three thousand dollars in your account or worth two or three thousand you can put two or three thousand instantly into your account and invest it instantly because um, <clears throat> they use your own collateral or your own money in the bank for its collateral so whatever you have in there you can pretty much invest up to twenty five thousand and if you see a change in the market like say Tesla is going about to split and you have like, say you have two or three grand in your bank account, you can immediately transfer those funds and they can immediately be available during the day the, um, as long as the stock market's open and you can invest immediately. So that's another thing I like about Robinhood. You can, uh, as long as you have the money in your account and you have a little bit of net worth in your, um, your stock account, Robinhood, you can immediately invest. So that will make you money if if you know that the stock's going to go up you can throw your money in there and take advantage of that that gain so all in all <clears throat> so far um i've been with robin hood a few months and since i and i like it better than cash app because also too i've noticed in cash app there's certain stocks that i want to invest in or research and they didn't come up like there wasn't a, you didn't have the ability to uh, invest in a variety of stocks. Um, most everything I've ever looked up or tried to invest in on Robinhood allowed me to. Everything is available. There's there's very few stocks that I haven't been able to buy uh, through Robinhood, but Cash App was very limiting. And um, <clears throat> so anyway, I like um, Robinhood as far as right now. Um, I'll do another review in a few months but um, everything is legit so far uh, they've given me enough money and I'm happy with uh, basically um, what they've given me and of course I'm happy with the Tesla stock it went from 185 to over 2000 and it's gonna split here pretty soon so I'm trying to get as much money in there as I can so basically uh, the more shares I have multiplied by five so I'll have five times as many stocks and I think when it splits people are going to continue to buy in because when the stocks go down to four or five hundred instead of two thousand it'll give an additional chance for a lot of investors that couldn't get in before so anyway this is Roger with Rogers reviews talking about the uh, Robin Hood investment app so far I give it a thumbs up I've got a couple months in um, totally pleased with everything so far but like I said, I need a few uh, a few more months and see how it pans out. Um, I do have a Fidelity account, so if anything changes, I can always transfer money back into there. 
Um, also, too, they're connected with Chime. So if you guys out there have a Chime account, it's very easy to transfer funds back and forth to your Chime account as well. So uh, for people that have Chime, this is a very good um, integrated thing that you can have for investing. Um, thank you very much. I hope you like this review. Please crush the like button and subscribe. Um, we're almost up to a thousand subscribers. We just need a few more watch hours and we'll be able to hit our goal. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope this gives you more information to uh, help you make better buying decisions. Have a great day.